This is the second version of the Lego clock that I made, and as you can see, um, I connected the escapement mechanism to something that actually looks like a clock. Now the instructions for the escapement can be found in the description of my other video, and instructions for this clock part can be found um, at the LEGO Mindstorms website. I'll try to find a link and put it in the description too. However, um, the original instructions called for using a motor, an NXT motor, to rotate the arms, but I thought that was kind of boring, so what I did is I attached the escapement to it instead by slightly modifying both of them from the original design so that now it's run just by this hanging weight of um, Lego weights and a few batteries. Um, and if you go to my brick shelf page, I'll post a link to that too, then you'll be able to see some detailed photographs of all angles of this, but for the video I'll show you the side view of all the gears. Try to use a flashlight so you can see it better. And something I should add is that um, the ratio from the escapement wheel to the um, to the clock is um, not a 1 to 60, it's a 1 to 30, so instead of each click of the escapement being one second, it's really two, so everything moves twice as fast as it should, so one second is two seconds, and every minute is really just 30 seconds, and every hour is 30 minutes, so the, the second half uh, sorry, the minute hand I actually had to shorten. Originally it was a 5 bar, now it's a 3, so it doesn't bump into the escapement wheel. And it goes around one full rotation every 30 minutes instead of 60, and the hour hand goes once every 6 hours instead of 12. This could be fixed by having another 1 to 2 ratio over here, but um, I don't really feel like adding that anytime soon because it's a Lego clock, so I don't really care how accurate it is, and that's it. You can see the pendulum, same length, it's four bars long, and when it's fully wound up, it'll keep running for about half an hour to wind it. I actually pull out this gray connector from that, and pull out the whole thing, the whole shaft, and wind the string around it very tightly and cleanly, and then I just run it through here so that it leans over the edge. The only weight you need to hold it on the shelf is just something over here. It doesn't need to be this heavy. This is just a three pound weight. It really just needs to be something that'll stay down and won't wobble around to hold it on, but other than that, it's very stable. And that's it. Thanks for watching.